What's up everybody, welcome to another honest review video. Today I have this Geekom A7 mini PC. This mini PC is powered by a Ryzen R9 7940HS CPU. It has 8 cores and 16 threads, so definitely this is a powerhouse. There are two different variants available on Geekom website. Well, I've got the top variant, 32GB of RAM and 2TB of storage, but if you want, you may also go for the 1TB edition, which costs a little less than this. When I have bought this Geekom A7, the price was like around 849 US dollars, but now there is a discount going on, so the price has gone down to less than 765 US dollars. Considering the specification and performance of this Geekom A7 mini PC, I think the current price of 764 US dollars is really a bit too cheap. If you are looking for a Ryzen based mini PC, then you should go ahead and check this mini PC. Okay, as usual, we'll start from unboxing and then we'll talk about the features and performance of this Geekom A7. But before that, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Here is our Geekom A7. It is built with aluminium. It comes inside an aluminium unibody, so it definitely has a sturdier build quality than many other mini PCs available out there. Geekom always uses premium materials to manufacture their products. I have already reviewed more than five different Geekom mini PCs and I have always noticed one thing. Geekom mini PCs always go through a very good quality control. So yeah, this Geekom A7 mini PC has also gone through five different tests like altitude test, drop test, humidity test, temperature test and vibration test. And as this tiny little mini PC has passed all the tests, that means it has a very good build quality. As I always say, outlook and appearance is subjective, but I truly like the design language of this Geekom mini PC. Yeah, everything sits inside this aluminium unibody, all the cutouts, all the curves and everything is so smooth. It feels like they have precisely manufactured this product with care. Well, Geekom had to use a plastic bottom plate because this plate actually works as an antenna. Geekom A7 mini PC is equipped with Wi-Fi 6E. That means it supports the new 6 GHz band, which is a combination of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. So it supports a very fast Wi-Fi data transfer rate with stability. Well, in front there are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, there is a 3.5mm headphone jack and a power button with LED light integrated inside it. On top there is nothing but a Geekom logo. On the left and right side there are two very big vents which helps to have a better airflow. Yeah, there is a SD card slot on the left side and all the other ports are located at the back. It's really good to see that there is a third vent at the back which actually is there for air intake. Underneath that air vent, there are 8 ports. The first one is a barrel type DC in port. Beside that, there is a USB 4 port which supports 40 gigabit per second data transfer rate. Along with these two ports, there are two HDMI 2.0 ports, a 2.5G LAN port, a USB A3.2 Gen 2 port, and a USB A2.0 port, and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-D. Look at the size of this Geekom A7. Considering the size, Having 12 ports is really an amazing thing. As I've got the 32GB edition, it comes with two 16GB memory sticks. Yeah, it supports dual channel RAM and it supports DDR5 262-pin 5600MHz RAMs. Also, if we want, we can expand the RAM up to 64GB. Not only the RAM, if we want, we can also expand our storage because inside this mini PC, there is a M.2 slot which supports 2242 NVMe drive is available for us. So anytime if we want, we can buy a NVMe stick and put it inside this Geekom A7 mini PC to expand our storage. Well, the first thing first, I've tested the NVMe drive using Crystal Disk Mark and you know what, I've managed to get more than 4700 megabyte per second write and 4900 megabyte per second read speed, which is really very fast and I don't think any other mini PCs out there in the market within this price segment comes with a faster NVMe drive inside a mini PC. Well, as this mini PC has the USB 4 port, if we have an external SSD, which supports 40 gigabyte per second data transfer rate, we can easily get very fast data transfer rate through USB 4 port. Before we talk about the synthetic benchmark results, there is another thing I wanna mention. 
Decom A7 mini PC comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed so we don't have to spend extra money to install Windows on our machine and as this one comes with Windows 11 Pro so we have access to all the Pro features of Windows. As usual the first benchmark that I ran on this mini PC is Cinebench. Cinebench release 23 which is known as Cinebench R23. Decom A7 has achieved 14302 in multi-core and 1669 in single core so yeah that's really a very high score so that means we can use this machine for video editing we can use premiere pro on this machine without any issue the second benchmark i always run is 3 mark time spy as i mentioned earlier kicom a7 mini pc is powered by a ryzen r9 7940hs cpu and it also has AMD Radeon 780M GPU. So altogether, I have expected something more than 3000 and Geekom A7 Mini PC has scored 3122. The graphics score is also very nice, 2785. And look at that CPU score, 9985. Almost 10,000. That's really a great score. Well, as this Geekom A7 Mini PC has a very capable processor, we have played many games on this Geekom A7. It doesn't matter which games we have tried to play on this Geekom A7, it has always offered very smooth, I should say battery smooth in-game experience. We haven't noticed any lag and we haven't noticed any thermal throttling even after playing games for hours after hours. But well, remember one thing, this is a mini PC. We are talking about mini PC performance, not a gaming PC performance. We have compared the gaming performance of Geekom A7 with many other mini PCs available on the market and truly Geekom A7 has not only made us amazed, it has shocked us with a very high frame rate and very good thermal management. Oh, okay, how can I not mention about very good Wi-Fi connectivity which helps to play online multiplayer games. Geekom A7 definitely has better thermal management thanks to its Geekcool 4.0 technology. It is equipped with copper heat pipes and it has a very large yet quiet fan. So while playing games, you will never listen to any fan whining or anything. It stays very quiet yet manages to keep the system cool. Well, I always use multiple monitors. If you are subscribed to this channel, if you have watched my other videos, then you may have noticed that I have already reviewed many different portable monitors and I actually attach a portable monitor beside my primary monitor. Sometimes I even attach two or three different portable monitors. So if you are someone like me, then you would be very happy to know that this Geekom A7 mini PC supports four monitors. Yeah, we can use two HDMI ports. Then we can use those two USB-C ports at the back so altogether we can attach four monitors at the same time and more importantly the USB 4 port supports 8K monitors. Yeah that's really a great thing. Well I don't want to prolong this video by talking about some general and usual stuff. If you are looking for a mini PC for your office work then Geekom A7 is definitely one of the best. If you are looking for a mini PC to do some video editing and to play some games, then well, again, Geekom A7 will be able to satisfy you with its performance. It doesn't matter whatever you are gonna do with this mini PC. It will offer better performance than any other mini PCs available on the market right now within its price segment. Well, personally, I have tested and reviewed more than 25 different mini PCs in the past couple of years. But after I've got this Geekom A7, Ryzen R97940HS based mini PC, I think this actually offers the best performance among all the mini PCs that I have ever tested. Because Ryzen R97940HS comes with 16 MB cache and it can get up to 5.2 GHz speed, also it supports DDR5 dual channel RAM, so altogether, if you know, then you know what you can expect from this powerhouse. Well, that's all about this Geekom A7 mini PC. I've left a link of this Geekom A7 in the description box below, but that is not an affiliate link. If you want to buy this mini PC, you can buy from anywhere. I just want to make sure that you know. I personally use this Geekom A7 mini PC and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this mini PC to my subscribers and regular viewers. If you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel support honest content